Hey folks, welcome back to your Las Vegas Don, Las Vegas Don channel. We got the Hofbrau House here in Las Vegas, corner of Paradise and Harmon. Very cool German restaurant. As we continue eastbound here on Harmon, and uh, got a lot of uh, traffic here. As we pass University Center Drive, formerly known as Swenson. This area gets a lot of calls for service, so I uh, wanted to highlight this and show folks this area. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard as we continue eastbound here on Harmon. Harmon intersects the strip about a mile west of us. We're heading eastbound, though. And the UNLV Arena is uh, right there. Looks like there's some sort of event there this evening. As we continue through the campus here at UNLV. Research Administration Building. On this Friday night in Las Vegas. Eastbound here. Large truck turnarounds. As we stop here, and Harmon is discontinued here. We've got the Harry Reid Center for Environmental Studies up there. SCS, Lily Fong Geoscience Building. These people had to have paid a great penny for their names on these things. And uh, I'll show you how close we are to the strip. That is uh, Planet Hollywood up there. Well, I can't know. I don't know how much, how well it's going to show up in the uh, video here. But we've got the Aria directly ahead of us here. And of course, it's uh, just after sunset, so the view is. Um, not as great as it would be, of course, during the day. UNLV University Hall there. Now westbound on Harmon. It is uh, just after 6 p.m. here in this early March Friday afternoon, evening. Sin City, also known as Disney World for Adults, where reality kind of takes a backseat to the fantasy of Las Vegas, whether that be winning it all or finding the girls of your dreams or whatever it may be, as we see a uh, private jet fly right above us to... Uh, land here at the airport. It's very close nearby here. And uh, traffic on this Friday night is a pain for sure. There's a lot of it. We're going to go ahead and uh, make a right here onto University Center, formerly known as Swenson. And again, Hofbrau House there on the left. They do paddle you there. Huh. That's a little bit unfun for me, non-fun for me, but uh, that's okay. They got these big wooden paddles that they bring out and uh, they bend you over and smack the nonsense out of you. It's really rather <laughs> unpleasant in my humble opinion. You can see the uh, Stratosphere is peeking out the top up there in the distance as we continue north on formerly Swenson, now University Center, etc. Drive. They do love changing things here in Las Vegas, whether it be tearing down the Tropicana and replacing that with a uh, and Major League Baseball Stadium. 
or any number of other things. Certainly changing the name from Swenson to University Center Drive. Finally got the green light here at Flamingo and University Center Drive and uh, the Circa at uh, downtown Fremont Street, downtown Las Vegas down there, is in the distance, but uh, this truck in front of me is kind of blocking it. You can see uh, the blue LED stripes kind of moving from right to left up there. And uh, this area here has a lot of calls for service. I wanted to point this out to you. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. A lot of rentals in here. Both for uh, students as well as strip workers. Uh, and I mean Las Vegas strip workers. Because due to its propinquity or closeness to the uh, actual Las Vegas strip. We're going to make a right here onto Twain. I guess the gas is free at this 7-Eleven here. Cash prices, well, maybe not free, it's nine tenths of a cent. Twain Swenson Plaza. Make the right here onto Twain Swenson Plaza. Or Twain, <laughs> Twain Road, but that is the plaza over there. And uh, still bearing the name of the former Road way back there at University Center Drive, their avenue that it's known as now. We're gonna make this left onto Cambridge. And uh, wait our turn. We've got the green light here at Cambridge. We're gonna make this left from Harmon. I'm sorry, from Twain Avenue. I don't even know where I am. From Twain to head north onto Cambridge. We get a lot of calls for service in this area. There are a lot of calls for service in this area, so I wanted to show you this area. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok, so please make your voices known and heard. Cambridge Dental, and then there's a car wash right there on the right. I'm not sure how many car washes there are out in Summerlin, but uh, that's the... Uh, Don's Market, not, no, uh, no relation to me, I promise. And then the 7-Eleven right there in the corner, as we come to Sierra Vesta, Vista Drive, you can see the trees and these little flags all over the place, they're just, the winds are crazy everywhere right now, and uh, we got a pedestrian up here, I'll wait for them to pass. the 7-Eleven, and uh, we come up to Desert Inn Road here, at the end of Cambridge, and we'll, make a, we'll be making a right and going eastbound on Desert Inn. And again, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok, so please make your voices known and heard. As we come up here, it's a Maryland Parkway, and actually we're gonna we're gonna make a left. Burt's Gaming right there. We're gonna make a left here on the Maryland Parkway. Carl's Jr. Fast food burgers there. We got the green light here at Maryland Parkway, so we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, make this left and go northbound on Maryland Parkway here in Las Vegas. Sunrise Hospital there. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of police activity here actually. There's one unit on the west side of the street and there's a unit here on the east side as well in front of the hospital. A couple units actually. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they have a car pulled over in there or something. Sunrise Hospital is a, a very common destination for folks that end up end up injuring themselves, tourists, etc., that injure themselves down on the Strip, and uh, they end up brought here to Sunrise Medical. And then you end up with all of those bills afterwards. Come up to Vegas Valley Drive here, and uh, try 
to avoid the cars turning left in front of us. A Sam Ash music store over here on the left. Those are, they used to be all over the place, but uh, I guess not so much anymore. And this lane now I realize why it wasn't a whole lot of traffic in it. There's a bus up here. So we're gonna see how this one pans out. See the Strat over there in the distance? You can see the Strat just about anywhere in town, really. It's high, It's up so high, it's what, 1,000, 1,100 feet, something like that. So it's uh, definitely something that can be seen everywhere. Got the green light here. And as is uh, the case here on the east side of town, lots and lots of fast food. KFC right there. 7-Eleven. Another 7-Eleven. 200 feet away from the last 7-Eleven. The light here at Karen Avenue. And you've got people here looking to duck and dodge in front of us because of the bus. And, uh, try not to uh, hit those people. And we're gonna go ahead and get over because we're we wanna make a right onto this next thoroughfare, which is Sahara Avenue, a major east-west artery here in Las Vegas. See an ad on a billboard over there, two and a half ounces, $200 for Jardin. As we continue now eastbound on this major thoroughfare, Sahara Avenue, goes uh, all the way from the east side of town, far east side of town, all the way up to the west side of town to Summerlin. And here we go. Here we go. They just plop themselves right in front of you. Goodness gracious. Playing with their phone or drinking and driving or whatever it is they're doing. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard as we are, uh, nightfall has fallen. And you can see we're coming into a zone here with a whole bunch of car dealerships and uh, not a whole lot of lights. Lights are all off in this area here on Sahara. Not sure what that's about. As we come up to the light at Burnham. Burnham Street, another dealership there on the right. We got the green light here at Burnham. So we're going to uh, continue. Eastbound. As we approach Eastern, which is another major northern, north-south artery here in Las Vegas. Goes all the way from deep in Henderson, Inspirata, that whole area down there, Anthem, all the way up to North Las Vegas, and then kind of ends ceremonious, unceremoniously there north of uh, Craig Road. We got the green light here at Eastern, so we're going to continue eastbound here on Sahara Avenue in Las Vegas. You can see a lot of uh, Pupuseria Cabanas. A lot of little shops here, little shopping centers, lining almost every intersection as we continue back into the uh, all the car dealerships that uh, pepper Sahara Avenue here on the east side of town. Atlantic right here more car dealerships that, that actually do have their lights on. There's a DMV office right there, here on East Sahara. Not very well lit, but... Then again, what is over here? The street lights, most of them are out. I'm not sure why. And the uh, only light really comes from huh, the car dealerships. All their uh, high mast lights in their parking lots. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. Chevy dealership there. Toyota dealership over there. Buick GMC. As we make this little S-curve through the intersection at Boulder Highway because Boulder Highway runs northeast, south, I'm sorry, northwest, southeast. And so uh, a lot of folks used to take it in from Arizona, points that way, into downtown 
Fremont Street. That was probably until they built the uh, US 95 expressway or highway or beltway or freeway or whatever they like to call it here on this side of the country. As we continue eastbound with very limited lighting, you might be able to see the traffic on the US 95, as a matter of fact, right there in front of us as it heads southbound. That whole roadway is just a mess with construction everywhere. And it's been that way for years, it just has not changed. And, um, yeah, it has not changed at all. Come up to the light here at Sand Hill Road, and you can see the traffic moving slowly up there on the US 95 slash US 93 slash Interstate 11 slash Interstate 515 overpass. A road with so many names. An identity crisis, indeed. Some homeless folks there under the overpass. Or unhoused, I guess is the preferred term nowadays. into Las Vegas International Airport. We finally got the green light here for the turn signal on LAM. We're last in the cycle here for uh, the thoroughfare for Sahara. Here at LAM Boulevard. And just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. Speaking of no lights, look at this. Feel like I'm out in the middle of nowhere and not some congested city which this definitely is congested but unfortunately this sort of environment is a breeding ground for criminal activity criminals like to hide in the uh, shadows and there are a bunch of shadows here as we get this yellow here Wyoming Avenue. Golden Corral Buffet, one of the few buffets left in town now after the pandemic smashed a whole bunch of buffets out of existence. See more dark parking lots, not dark areas here along Lamb Boulevard. This is a major thoroughfare, major north-south thoroughfare here. And there's just not a whole lot of light. These people are trying to turn left across all these lanes. That was a little scary. Well, we got the green light here at Charleston Boulevard and Lamb Boulevard, and again, no lighting. What is that about? There's a lot of calls for service in this area. I would think for sure that they'd want to be able to put light, shine a light on a lot of these areas. I'm not sure what's happening. More fast food, McDonald's. Some uh, Spanish restaurants as well. And uh, we're all crawling along at 20 miles an hour here on a six lane road. But I'm going to get from behind this guy. Because again, you never know who's been drinking or who's playing on their phone or high on drugs or just drank their whole paycheck away. And this, of course, it's a Friday night, so that sort of thing tends to be epidemic here. Motorcycle cop has someone pulled over there. As we approach Stewart Avenue. 
and a fire truck is crossing right in front of us here. And we finally got the green light here at Stewart Avenue. There is a, uh, oh my goodness, that's lovely. And we got the green light here. The ambulance was actually uh, reset the traffic lights. So Fred's Tavern there. There's another one located a mile away down at Nellis and Stewart. Disabled bus there, county bus. Continue northbound on Lamb Boulevard. At least it's lit up here. And this is uh, also, a, there are a lot of calls for service in this area as well. Speed limit 40 in this area. Doing 40. And we approach the intersection here at Bonanza Road. Bonanza is a major east-west artery here on the east side of town. Circle K across the street. Those aren't as common as they used to be, but they're still here. Here and there, I should say. There's the IBEW, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, where the President and Vice President have come campaigning on separate occasions, jamming up traffic all over the uh, east side here. And a lot of times they haven't even let anyone know the route or what time they were even going to show up, so that really wreaks havoc because no one knows when to expect them or how to plan their commute. as we come to Washington Avenue here. We've got the green light here, Washington Avenue, so we're gonna continue northbound on Lamb Boulevard. Shell gas station over there on the side. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok, so please make your voices known and heard. The lanes here, not, not very best when it comes to being marked. to uh, some pretty well reflected lines in the past in uh, Florida but um, that's how they do it here and another red light what a surprise here at Owens Avenue we traveled what maybe half a mile <laughs> and so we'll wait got the green light finally here at Owens jack-in-the-box right there fast food Union 76 gas station right there so we continue northbound on lamb another Fred's Tavern right there following the uh, US mail vehicle here looks like he's headed back to the po uh, post office that's located up here off of Cary and uh, Nellis at the close of his day his or her day Gonna make a right up here at East Lake Mead Boulevard. More housing here lining Lamb Boulevard. As we await our turn here in the turn lane, at McDonald's. Lots and lots of fast food here on the east side of town. Just everywhere. Here we go, this is pretty well lit. Well, except for the other side of the street there for the moment. As we're now eastbound on East Lake Mead Boulevard, heading towards Frenchman's Mountain, Frenchman and Sunrise Mountains. And uh, see some of the housing here, lining East Lake Mead, an older part of town. They do have a lot of uh, calls for service in this area, so. Uh, that. Rubio's Carniceria Market there on the left. It's a well-lit well -lit building. Rios Auto Center. Little car dealership there. And a Northeast Animal Hospital right there. Killer Sound. Something called Killer Sound over there. Another car lot that's not very well lit. Uh, this bus 
has to get over because this lane ends. His lane ends. His or her lane ends. Another Walgreens. Folks gotta get their drugs. Because of course, pharmaceutical companies do not create cures, they create customers. Got the green light here at Nellis Boulevard as we continue eastbound on East Lake Mead Boulevard here on the east side of Las Vegas. Union 76 gas station there, KFC over on the right. Dollar General, dollar store there. And uh, looks like there's some uh, food cart set up out front there, a taco truck. You see some of the neighborhoods here lining East Lake Meat Boulevard. And just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. So we approach the light here at Christie. I am astonished that this light is actually green and has stayed green for us because it usually does not. There's another uh, food table set up out there. Christie's almost always red no matter what road we're on. There's a market there. I know this because it says market on it and nothing else. There's Trujillo Commissary. Not sure what kind of commissary they are. Here on East Lake Mead Boulevard. Passing Lynn Lane. We have a video from our time on Lynn Lane. Please feel free to check that out in our library. As we continue eastbound here, approaching Sloan Lane. And we're going to stop. Even though there's nobody at the, uh, on the cross street here. And we're going to go ahead and move east here. The uh, emergency vehicles are traveling the other direction, in case you heard them there on the on video. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. As we continue eastbound, East Lake Mead Boulevard here in Las Vegas, Plaza del Rio, over here on our right, along with a PT's. PT's is a chain of gaming sports bars here in town. As is Timbers, which we are approaching up here on the left at Mount Hood Street. Temperature outside says 76. The car says 76. There's Timbers right there. There's decent food. I've commented on it in the past in uh, previous videos. Located here. Uh, on the non-strip areas of uh, Las Vegas. Another 7-Eleven and Jack in the Box. I'm gonna make a turn into this Walmart here. And we've got a pedestrian here. We are going to, he's standing waiting. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make the left into this shopping center. Wait our turn. See some of the strip down there, way in the distance, along with the Circa. Well, it's behind a tree now. 